talk about multiplication of rational numbers, especially when you have fractions involved. Okay, so I know I've shown you the song about adding and multiplying and dividing fractions. So let's remember with multiplying fractions, you go straight across. So I just have to remember what the sign rules happen to be when I have a negative and positives involved. So on this first problem, I see that I've got negative 3 fourths times 5, and I'm always going to change my whole number to a fraction, so I can do that multiply straight across. That's going to give me negative 3 fourths times 5 over 1. I'm going to multiply the numerators. That gives me 15. I'm going to multiply the denominators. That gives me 4. A negative times a positive is a negative. So my answer right there is negative 15 fourths, and I can leave it as an improper fraction. If I wanted to change it to a mixed number, remember that I would do division. 4 goes into 15 how many times? It goes 3 times because 4 times 3 is 12, and how many are left over? 3. And you make sure and bring that little sign over that if this is a negative, then its equivalent mixed number is also negative. Okay? Let's look over here at number 2. Fraction multiplication, they are just both negative. Remember, Negative times a negative is a positive. Remember that from stand and deliver. 2 times 5 going straight across gives me 10. 3 times 7 going straight across gives me 21. Negative times a negative is a positive. I check to see if these can be simplified, and it cannot. So that final answer is 10 over 21. Look at our last problem right here. We've got a mixed number that's positive multiplied by a fraction that is negative. So we're going to remember the rules for multiplying by fractions, and we're also going to remember our rules for our signs, okay? So my suggestion is take your mixed number and let's change that thing to an improper fraction. Remember that you do that by multiplying and adding. Remember MA, Mount Airy, multiply, add. So here we go. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So I have 5 over 2. I'm going to multiply that by negative one-third. Just bring my fraction down. Multiplying fractions, you go straight across. So that's going to give us negative 5 over 6. That cannot be simplified. That's my final answer. That's it.